Oprah Winfrey believes that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle should do what they think is best when it comes to King Charles' coronation. The TV legend shared her thoughts on the complicated decision the couple will have to make. Welcome to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss anything. Oprah Winfrey wants Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to do what makes them happiest. The TV legend appeared on CBS Mornings alongside longtime close friend Gail King on Thursday, with King asking her opinion on whether the Duke and Duchess of Sussex should attend King Charles' coronation on May 6 after all they've been through. It has been reported that Harry and Meghan have been invited to the coronation ceremony, King began. Do you think they should go? Do you think they shouldn't go? Is that something you would like to comment on? Oprah replied to her friend, I think they should do what they feel is best for them and their family. That's what I think. That's the whole point. It's about what you think is the best thing for you. But she added with a smile, they didn't ask me for my opinion. A spokesperson for Harry and Meghan previously told the Sunday Times in a statement earlier this month, I can confirm that the Duke recently received email correspondence from His Majesty's office regarding the coronation. We will not disclose an immediate decision on whether the Duke and Duchess will attend at this time. Oprah has been a loyal friend and neighbor to the royal couple, after they moved to Montecito, California in 2020. After Harry and Meghan stepped down as senior members of the royal family, the former talk show host, told TMZ. I support them 1000%. Do you know why I support them? I support them because I think, when you think of this as long as they think about it, and even in a statement the Queen says, this has been going on for months, these discussions have been going on for months, and when Harry said in this charity statement the other day that to make the decision to move on peacefully with his new family. She doesn't feel like what it would take to make this decision to give up everything I've known for life to say I'm going to choose this new life, or what I believe to be a true vision for myself. And in March 2021, the Duke and Duchess sat down for an explosive television interview with Oprah, during which Meghan spoke about the lack of support she felt as the newest member of the royal family, her thoughts of self-harm, and how their son was. Archie was. He was denied the royal title, and that there were concerns and gossip about how black his skin was at birth. But despite the rift that has developed between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family, sources close to the new king tell Vanity Fair that he wants his youngest son to be there on such an important day as his coronation. They said, Charles is a tolerant person by nature, and he wants to get ahead. Whatever is said and done, Harry is still his son and he loves him. He also cannot imagine his coronation being the most important moment of his life without his children witnessing this moment. Thanks for watching till the end.